guys welcome back okay so what do we think what are we thinking is this fall okay did i succeed today in actually creating a fall look i think i did i think that i was successful today okay <laughs> you guys know i have sat down for the last few videos saying okay trying to do a fall look pulled out my fall palettes and somehow i just end up going towards a colorful look but today i used a palette to force myself to create a fall look so hopefully this says fall to you guys i mean i feel like fall i feel all warm and toasty i feel like leaves is falling all of that i feel like i need a scarf on some you know all of that but it's about 102 outside right now <laughs> so you guys can understand why it's hard for me to do these looks but i feel like i succeeded today so anyway this is what we have this kind of like warm red and orangey very very simple eye look i mean if you want to recreate this look super duper simple now the palette that i used today as you saw from the title maybe not sure it is this beauty bay fiery palette the 42 shade palette that i just picked up not too long ago i did show this in my last haul i believe and this is what she look like okay <laughs> so yeah i used this palette to create this look nothing else no other palettes just this one and it was so simple so easy you guys and i really really like it i went in with maybe about four or five shades you know some lighter shades orangey shades i used that bright red on my lid and that was it as you can see i didn't even smoke it out or anything i just put on some lashes popped in the inner corner highlight and this is what we have and i paired it with a super dark lip okay trying to get the whole fall vibe going okay and i really don't do lips this dark unless i'm doing like some type of deep vampy eye look but yeah you guys let me know what you think i really don't feel like i look the best in dark lipsticks but <laughs> This is what we doing for fall, okay? So yeah, I used this palette from Beauty Bay. When I got it, I got it on sale for like 17 bucks. So I think it's usually like 25 and you can catch it on sale for 20. I don't know, but not expensive at all. If you're looking for a huge palette that has a lot of warm, just kind of toasty shades in it, pop a red, you know, kind of like the Morphe 3502-6789B slash Z palette, okay? something like that <laughs> you know here you go one from beauty bay and i really like it i feel like it performed very nicely the shadows blended out very easily and i'm pleased with this eye look so if you want to see how i created this fall look today <laughs> just stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so let's go ahead and jump right in so as usual i am going to be prepping my lids with my p louise base i don't know you guys i love this eyeshadow base my girl lily got it for me and i just cannot stop using it it's the perfect eyeshadow base so first i'm going in to set my brow bone with the shade sincere it's just basically like a light tan matte shadow just using that to you know set my brow bone area next I'm going into pumpkin spice <laughs> a very appropriate name for this shadow really really pretty it's just a kind of very very light tan and orangey type matte shade and I'm just using that in my crease blending it up towards my brow bone next I'm going into the shade hot sauce and it's a really, really pretty orange color. Very, very nice, warm, earthy, fall-esque orange tone. I really, really like that in my crease. As you can see, it is blending beautifully with the other shades that I put down. And next, I'm going into this super bright red. It's called Carpe Diem. And I'm just taking a flat shader brush, tapping that all over my lid making sure to gently blend it into that orange that I placed in my crease. But this color is really, really pretty. Very bright, very fiery. And I'm just making sure that I blend those shades into each other 
nicely so that I get that perfect gradient going on my lid. Now for my face, I'm going to be using my uh, Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Blur Priming Serum. So it's like a combination of a primer and a serum. I really, really like this stuff, you guys. It's very nice, very moisturizing. For foundation, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way. This is the new matte one. And I use the shade Spiced Rum. Perfect shade for me. I really, really, out of all of my foundations, I think this is the one that I have the best match for my skin tone in. And I wasn't sure if it was going to match just like the regular Too Faced foundation but I actually think this matte one in Spice Rum matches me even better so yeah I really like this foundation but it is matte you guys <laughs> not super drying but it is matte so for my concealer I'm using my Fenty Beauty concealer I use the shade 390 just you know to add a bit of brightening and I at first when I used this concealer I wasn't really feeling it you know when I first used it a long time ago but now using it you know after having tried several different concealers I find that I do like this concealer I like the coverage I do like uh, the consistency of it I don't like the fact that it dries down a bit faster than I like because I have to kind of move <laughs> really fast to blend it out but I actually like this concealer now. Of course, I'm setting it with my DJ's Boutique Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And I'm just going to be using one of my Shop Miss A Paw Paw sponges. This is the pink one. Very, very soft um, to just kind of press that in those highlighted areas. I really like using a damp sponge to, you know, set my under eyes with powder I just feel like it creates a more smooth and seamless look for me now to set the rest of my face I'm using my Iman powder and this is in the shade earth dark very very pretty powder I like this powder it's nice it blends in well with my other makeup I'm just using a very very light dusting today though because this foundation is so matte I don't need a lot of powder. I'm really just using it to blend everything together. Now for my complexion, I decided to use my Morphe face palette today. This one is the 8D, which is the Deep Glam. And this palette is actually very surprising to me. I love it. <laughs> it is a really nice face palette. And with it being Morphe, it's definitely more affordable than some of the more expensive face palettes and it's really nice to have you know the bronzer contour blush highlight all of that good stuff in one easy to use palette so today I'm just kind of combining the um, two bronzers together so I'm using the darkest one with the lighter one just to kind of give me that nice deepened bronzed tone around my face and just using a little bit here on the sides of my nose as you can see just for a very soft contour and for my blush I am using the more red tone blush in the blush in the palette today just gently applying it to my cheeks and what I really like about this blush is that it is buildable. As you can see, nicely pigmented, but it's definitely buildable if you don't want something too bold. Now for the highlighter, the one that I'm using, of course, is the more golden shade highlighter. And although I really, really like this highlighter because it's nice and soft, not too, too bold, but you can still see it. It does have a little bit of an orangey tone to me, which I don't necessarily care for, but with this look, of course, it looks fine. Now for lashes, I'm using my Luna Magic Lashes today in the style Happy X. <laughs> I like that name, Happy X. And this is what they look like. I had a bit of an issue with the left side getting that even, but we're just going to ignore that <laughs> and move on. So I decided to use a white liner on my low, lower lash line today. It kind of helps to open up and brighten the eyes a bit if you want them to look a little bit bigger. And to further smoke out my lower lash line, I'm just using the shade, uh, what is that, Throwback? Just kind of a warm brown shade and I'm going back in 
with hot sauce just to kind of add that touch of orange to my lower lash line to bring it together with my lid. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going in with Adorn, beautiful gold shimmer shade, and I'm just kind of gently tapping that in my inner corner. Didn't spray my brush or anything. Sometimes I like just like a dry highlight, and this is really pretty. Did not need to spray my brush at all. Very, very pretty pop of gold. Lower lashes, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Discovery. You guys, this teeny tiny little brush is so perfect for the lower lashes. I really, really like it. Now for lips, I'm trying out a new lip liner today. I picked up some of these NYX Professional Lip Liners from Ulta. Um, and this one is actually in the shade Dark Soul. So it's a pretty deep, dark burgundy shade. Since I decided to go pretty vampy with my lips, it's a nice lip liner, nice and creamy. And for lipstick, I'm using my Colored Rain lipstick in the shade Boudoir. Now, this is a dark lipstick, you guys. <laughs> very, very dark, okay? I don't typically go for these colors, but I felt like it would really bring the fall to this look. Now, to set my face, I'm using my MAC Plus Prep and Prime just to kind of get all that powder to sink into my skin and look more natural. And this is the look, you guys. So you guys let me know, does it say fall to you? I think the lip really turned it into a fall look more so than summer, and I really like it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this look. Don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!